Hey all, it's Nim or Nimacree if you're feeling professional, and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today we're going to answer the question, why play as Wingrave? In one word, Paladin. If you like Paladins in Final Fantasy XIV, in World of Warcraft, in other games, Dungeons and Dragons, Wingrave. Wingrave is for you. Holy Armor, Sword and Shield by default. Now you can use other weapons. The fact that your abilities are healing. Righteous Strike heals. Radiant Pulse gives you a shield. Judgment marks enemies that you heal when you damage them. Divine Aegis gives you an invulnerable shield that also heals. Power Bash does a lot of damage and breaks guards. And also your passive ability. Melee Finishers heal Wingrave and one nearby ally. All you do is heal and buff your people. It's a paladin. Wingrave is a paladin. If you like paladins, play as Wingrave. Also, Wingrave isn't all that hard to play as. You can pick it up, and you can put him down. Simple enough. And you can see I've got a few things here. You get, uh, Little archetype passives. Uh, Art of War, my weapon abilities charge 50% faster. And then, of course, uh, dodge roll. I can, I can roll a little bit more if necessary. So, Wingrave ultimately is not a hard wayfinder to start with and can be rewarding to play, especially if you're running with a dedicated team. That being said, because you have the ability to heal, keep in mind that people will expect you to heal, and sometimes people will blame you if they die. Well, why isn't your Aegis up? Well, why didn't you use Righteous Smite? Or why didn't you finish off that combo so I could get some extra health? The answer is, if you're playing as a healer, you're gonna have to deal with that, so keep that in mind. But I figured, let's show off some of the gameplay for playing Wingrave, and then we can wrap up the video. So now that we've had the class flavor, let's talk about the actual combat capabilities of Wingrave. Right? He's a paladin. Let's see how it actually works in real time. So we're coming up to the blood spawn. So we hit him, obviously, sword and board. We do our righteous smite to heal. And of course, judgment to allow other players to heal off. The blood spawn is an interesting boss because you have to kill him like five times. So we'll go through there. I may cut out some of the, some of the actual uh, stuff just because it's a little redundant. But there we go. Everybody gets healed. We start hurting him. And as you can see, we're breaking him down. This other guy, I believe, is a Kiros using a shotgun. Or a gun. I don't know if it's a shotgun specifically, but he is using a gun. Alright, we've broken it. We've broken his guard. And so now it's time to start actually hurting him. Because when you break the guard, you do more damage. And the way I've specced my particular Wingrave, uh, the mastery I have is as I break guard, I gain latent power, which really helps. Because latent power means that I can get more power bash and get more damage. And latent power is one. Okay, as you see, there's that first time. We are running this with a trickster debuff. So there's burning and fire and death. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Luckily, though, the game scales, so you don't have to worry so much about having to solo certain things. Now, that being said, because you queue in with randoms, you could potentially have a problem. I think we're going to be okay. Jump that, he's going to do it twice. Oh, I thought he does it once. Yeah, oh no, he jumps that time. He jumps that time. That's, that's not good. Right, let's just go here. Everybody get some health. There it is, thank you. Wow, those explosive guys are no joke. I'm just trying to get through this. Where are you, dude? Okay, that's one. So I think we have to kill all the spawnlings. I'm not 100% sure how many there are, especially on Sphere 3 which is what I am currently on. Everybody take some damage. Except for me. Oh, I guess I'm still gonna take some damage. Those burning pools are everywhere. It really sucks. Get behind me! Stop. Ah, he's hopping everywhere. So the problem with Sword and Shield in this particular game, as you can see, is that there's not really anything I can do ranged. I mean, I can judge a little bit. Judgment has somewhat of a range, but not really. 
so that is a limitation there if you wanted a little bit more range. Now, that being said, I think... Oh, hey, we completed it. It's nice. We just completed the dungeon. As you can see, we're going we're gonna to clean up uh, the rest of these molten guys. And we got an echo, which was nice. Clear these for extra experience and just be done. So, yeah, that's Wingrave. So, why should you play Wingrave? Honestly, if you want to be a paladin, if you want to be a leader, if you want to help out your party, if you want to just kind of be a generalist and go through content, Wingrave's not a hard Wayfinder to pick up. And in fact, it's very beginner friendly. So if you're not great at action games, it can be a lot of fun. So let's pick up the loot, as you can see. Ta -da! And there we go, got it. And we got some stuff. So there it is. So guys, if you liked the video, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. May the drop your farming drop on the first run of the instance. I'll see you in the next video.